Hi guys, welcome to Cake and It's Special. This week I've decided to do things a little differently. So I have a few short videos of me showing you how to make these cute little Christmassy cupcake toppers. So this time it will be the one and only Santa Claus. So here we go. So I'm starting with one of these purple cupcake dome sponges. I'm going to lay my fondant on top of this so it will help me dry in the shape that I want it. I select a circle cutter that is the size I want. In this case, it is the one that just fits over the top of the dome. So what I'm going to do now is take some of my fondant that I have dyed using the Sugar Flare Skin Tone Food Gel and I've also added a little bit of Tylos powder to this to help me firm it up. So I roll it out, I don't want it to be too thin because I want it to be able to hold its shape. And I use my circle cutter. When I lay my circle on the sponge dome, it's important that I'm not too heavy handed with it and that I manage to get the whole circle down against the sponge. When I'm happy with that, I take the same circle cutter and cut out a very thin piece of white fondant and then cut another circle out of that so I'm left with almost like a half moon. I can then stick that to the bottom of my circle. I take more of my skin tone and create almost like a tic-tac shape for the nose. For his moustache, I take two little pieces of my white fondant and make them into little petal shapes. And then stick them straight on underneath the nose. I use my tiny balling tool to make the eye sockets. I take two tiny pieces of white fondant to go in the eye sockets and add a little piece of black to the top of them. And then of course catch lights. For his hat, I take some of my red fondant and use the same circle cutter again but this time about a quarter of the way down, I'm going to cut a straight edge and then I can stick that to the head. I add a white band along the bottom of the hat I take more of my red fondant and create a long strand for the hat and of course add a white ball to the end of that. And use a very tiny metal balling tool to make the white band look fluffy. And of course, Santa has rosy cheeks, so I do that with just a little bit of dry dust. Using my brush that I got from Zoe's Fancy Cake store at Cake International. And there he is. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Make sure you check out the other videos that have been uploaded today. And there will be more coming next week, so make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss out. Thanks guys, bye.